welcome to Rhinebeck 2018. We just got to my hotel, the room is not ready, so we're heading into Rhinebeck so I can show this guy, the Rhinebeck Virgin. Oh my God, it's I'm gonna true. show him downtown Rhinebeck. So we're gonna Sweet. go get some avocado toast at Bread Alone, then we're gonna go to the knitting garage. The avo toast. And then we're gonna hit the candy store, the candy because store. it's who we are. Candy. Yes. Yeah, okay. The candy store is owned by um, Paul Rudd and... Willy Wonka. No! God, Paul I can't Rudd? remember the other guy's like name. Paul Rudd, Paul Rudd? Yeah, Paul Rudd, Paul Rudd. Is he gonna be there? I hope so. He better. It's random, it's a Thursday, right? <laughs> right. Our, well, He's here for New York Sheep and Wall too, right? Totally! <laughs> please, please, if we told him that, he would be like, I'm coming. I don't know why I'm crying. I think it's just, this I is love him. My <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we are going. Let's go into it's downtown really Rhinebeck for the first time. I'm for really the first excited time. about it. Really excited. <laughs> My hair looks crazy. I look like it's, it's I look like, like I have a mohawk. It's like poof tastic. <laughs> okay, we're on our way to Bread Alone, guys. Look. What? Look, look, what? Corrado's in Rhinebeck, guys. Yeah. And that's what you want. That's okay. There were people from Rhinebeck here. <gasps> The avocado toast, which is what I wait literally all year for, and my hair looks really weird in this on camera, but in person I look perfectly normal, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. Really normal. I brought him here to get avocado toast, and he didn't order avocado toast. He's getting a breakfast burrito, so we'll have a talk about that on the way out. With chorizo. With chorizo. <laughs> but we see a bunch of people that we know already, and we're having a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, how's it going? This is Jack, your, your podcast? Wow. <laughs> nice look. It's just my arm. Oh, hi. <laughs> that was the face I was making. You got it. He's judging me. I'm not judging. This is what I wait for. It's so good. And it's let me, amazing. It looks bread great. alone, let me tell you. I don't think you fooled me. It got smaller. It it's small. smaller than last year. <laughs> Look who we saw! Look who we found! Yay! It's the crew from Jersey and Long Island. Well, they come to Jersey, but they're from Long Island. Long Island. They'd probably be very upset that I just Long said they were from Jersey. Anyway, we are done at Bread Alone. This really looks funny on camera. I like it. It's okay, right? It doesn't look funny in person. <laughs> Vicky's lying to me. Um, so we're on our way to the knitting garage now. This guy is the virgin that's never been there. We gotta keep announcing that I'm a virgin. <laughs> He's a virgin. <laughs> All right, here we go. How did you like your first time in the knitting garage? It was really great. There's a potluck that I wanted, but I didn't get it because I just didn't. It's true. When you design things with potlucks, it's hard to replicate. It's true. No, yeah. if, if we're being real, like it's hard to replicate if someone wants that again. Like yeah, they kind of can't. But it was really pretty. It was really pretty. You should get it and get, make yourself something once in a no, while. Okay. No, we don't right, do that. Bye. <laughs> anyway guys, Stickles is this old fashioned 5 and 10 and it's really really cute in here. And okay, so we're going to skip the candy store because we need to get to, it's Morehouse Farms? Morehouse Farms. Morehouse Farms. And that's where we are on our way to now. And um, I brought wellies just for the occasion because, you know, when there's a chance to buy something clothing wise, I'm going to do it. Clothing wise? Clothing wise, I bought wellies. Wellies? Wellies to go on the farm because you said. Oh, to wear boots. wellies! I thought you were talking about the Charleston shoes. And I was like, is that a name for? A no, I bought shoe? a Charleston shoe though when I was in the knitting girl. Well, I was in Stickles. Yeah. Which 
which by the way, the high highest sharps, they were only like 12 bucks. That's really good. Yeah. That is really, really good. Guys, seriously. <laughs> it smells like my childhood. Okay. All right, we're on our way to Morehouse Farms now. So we're here at Morehouse Marino Farm and Corrado can't figure out how to get us in. We did just drive in circles for a little while. Yeah. It's okay, right? Yeah. It's really pretty here. It's very quiet. We both changed our footwear for some reason. I feel like we feel like we're going to be wading through pig slop, but we are not. So, <laughs> there we are. We have life. Look, <laughs> hello. Hello, welcome to Morehouse Farm. Thank you. Hi, Hi. how are you? Nice to meet you. Oh, Hi, I'm Danielle. I'm Erin. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Welcome. Thank you. Look at this. We're on a farm, guys. Boys are over there. They're over there. Look. And you can't really see you them with really my camera, but. Yeah. They're chilling. I see. I see them. I see them. Yeah. Okay. And you said your name was Erin? Erin, yes. Okay, this is Erin. She's taking us on a tour. Hello. Hello. It's a beautiful day to be touring. Oh, isn't it gorgeous right now? And look at all the geese. I would have walked right into that. I wouldn't have even noticed that that was water. Well, you know, we're trying to take as good care of the environment at the same time we're farming as we really can. So when Mother Nature has the right combination to grow duckweed, there it goes. Yeah, exactly, right? Look at that. It's clearing up on the other side now that the temperature has changed, which makes a big difference. Oh, really. so it's like a summer thing? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, just yeah. as it gets a lot of temperature to it, that's very good. Now the sheep are not near that, they're on the other side too. Hey, so. let's go see what grows the wool. <laughs> Look at all the houses and the farm. So we don't put any herbicide or anything in the pond. Take care of that problem. Oh, I just felt some squish on my boot. Very happy I changed my shoes. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> mud is part of the farm. Mud is part of this. Guys, we're Christy glassing. That's a verb. <laughs> laughing about Rado. It's nice to get out of the city and it's, have like It really is, right? Trees? And <laughs> Makes you want to buy a farm? And a farm. <laughs> <laughs> so Carano and I want to run a retreat here. We're just going to take over. Done. No. So she's putting, I think sheep, right? We're going to see some little, sheep. Little, lamb, little, babies. little babies. She's putting them in a tiny pen so that we can see them up close, but we have to be really, really slow in our movements so we don't scare them. We're the big city folk. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I've seen this exact scenario on like something my daughter has watched, you know, like Curious George or something. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Or like a horror film. <laughs> or a horror film. <laughs> That's kind of what you're coming right, Danny? really puts stuff in perspective. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. Oh, you know what's really nice about visiting these places in the cooler months? It doesn't smell at all. I don't know if the place obviously does, but you know, most places with animals do. Nothing, just crisp, it's a nice day. Hi! Are they trying to get away from us? Hi! How are you? These are the ewe lambs that were born this spring. They're about six months old, you can see they're... She's really not sure about all of this. Oh my god. Aww. Mm. Aim for a low and they're low. here. Yeah. Hey. Hey, Minnie's on that side. <laughs> How about we turn you around? So that you can say hi. You have such a beautiful face. Ooh. There you go. As a lamb, she's a little bit, got a little bit shorter fleece, but you can see it gets darker next to the skin. Mm -hmm. So just like us, when we're outside in the sun a lot, for the yeah. summer, they get lighter color. So if I grab one of the white ones. Look at that. So right here. Yeah. You can see down next to the skin how oh, gorgeous wow. and white that is. Yeah. And that yellow that you see is the lanolin. Okay. So if you've ever had really good hand lotion, 
that's exactly what you've got. And the really cool thing about that is to harvest it, all we need to do is wash the wool. Oh, it and just it, comes off in the water? Yeah, it's an oil so it floats to the top and then you can skim it off and put it into that any of your sense. lotions or creams and add a little perfume so you don't smell like a sheep. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that's very important. All right, can you that's... say hi? Hi. Hi. Say hi. Mm -hmm. Uh, you want to go somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> you know, city, city, city sheep, right? Didn't want to go to Astoria. No, I didn't want to go. I really don't know. <laughs> <laughs> It is really cool. Stop making that sound. <laughs> Come on, babies. Time to eat. Yeah, there they go. Okay. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Hey there. Feeding time. The pizza's here. Come on, buddy. Wait, wait for me. Oh. So these are the grandmas of our flock. Oh, uh, so how sheep, old? Sheep can live to be 10 and we've got some that are close to 15. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, so these are the grannies. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, they're done. Enough of that. Yeah. <laughs> Until there's more treats. <laughs> That's crazy. That was You're like, oh, let's follow the sun. Oh, look. We're all going in the tent? Yep. The barn's open on the other side for them to be able oh. to go in. It's beautiful right here, right now. Wait, what'd you say to me? Say Your it again. Your hair screams farm. Does it? Yeah. I tried. Barely. I tried. Let's try a little experiment. Brandy would love this. <laughs> Hi, babies. You're not babies. Not so much. You're the grannies. But you're aging very well. You're not singing. I'm not gonna sing. I was just having my moment. <laughs> I hope you would sing. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. For a thousand years. We're welcoming people tomorrow for the first time. Oh, in, really? Like 10 years. To here. Yes. Yeah. So they can come in and come Guys, in. look, this is what they make with so, all the sheepy stuff. Adjust the light, adjust the light. Okay, there we go. So for the Harry Potter fan. Yes. So cute. We don't have one for every house yet, but. <laughs> that's cute. That is cute. Here's Frog, it looks like. Oh my gosh, so that's so cute. Everything is available in a kit, so you don't have to yeah. worry about, oh my goodness, how much yarn do I need? It's all ready yeah, to go. Then. But then when you are ready, and we'll pull all these back for shopping, but here's, this is new called Monet's Garden. Isn't that amazing? That is beautiful. So how do you guys dye it? We have a partnership with a dye house. It's a small family business in um, North Carolina and they are experts in chemistry because it's so hard to get the dye exactly the same every time. And mm -hmm. as much fun as it is to make your own dyes, our knitters keep saying, I need one more skein of that. And then yeah. there's isn't. So being able to be providing a large enough quantity that's with awesome. the experts that can repeat it again. Mm -hmm. has so been it actually matches. That our customers have really enjoyed. That's so, wonderful. So. This 
So they're gonna be opening the store tomorrow. So we're like here before, right? Is opening tomorrow. Behind the scenes, right? We're still getting things ready. Yeah, that's why so. it's all in plastic, but it's not gonna be in plastic when you guys come. Look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. That's gorgeous. I love all the different colors in it. Oh, well. Russ and his team do an awesome job. What are you finding? Huh? That's just sneaking around a little. <laughs> look, look, look at that. Right, so we'll come in here. Have you felt in here? It's like this awful. <gasps> Go ahead. Oop. Here we go. That's just, this just like merino. This is all 100% right, merino because yeah, right, that's know. what we are. We're a sheep right. farm. That so, is so, so we soft. didn't get along this summer with this sweater. So that's my version. I still need to darn in the end. So we'll be ready for Ryan. <laughs> no one does that. No one actually does that. <laughs> oh, guys, this is my friend Gail. Hi, Gail. Gail is making the signs so that you know where to go. <laughs> so you don't get lost on the yeah. big car. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's got a camera. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see. Yeah. Let's put your face all the way Look at down. that, Corrado! It's a kit. Yeah. You get it. Let me see. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, it needs to focus. Yeah. Right. And then here. Yeah, I was going to say, if you want. Either in street. I have a small and medium. Ooh, which will probably fit me better. Guys. Than the one that I made. Then you're my the husband's large, perfect. Which, oh, that's good. Actually. That's correct. Which one's fit you? This one. Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. So there's our large. Yeah. And actually, the the wooden hand looks so much better than the the, the plastic. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, definitely. So if you wanna, very cool. Wanna... Let's shake hands. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. What's on? Cater and stream available on Ravelry and in kits. <laughs> and in kits. And actually, the kits look really nice. Announcement. Are we gonna do a long? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. We're doing a knit along. You are? Mm. Tell me more. November Tell me 16th. more. November sixteenth. November sixteenth. We'll start it in the Morehouse Merino Flock Facebook group. So come on over, join in. You just have to participate as much or as little as you want. But there's an awesome community of supportive knitters, so no question goes unanswered. Cool. Any technique, trick. We're all about learning. So awesome. if brioche is something you've been wrestling with, definitely check this out because three stitches at a time, totally manageable. Definitely. That is true. Yeah. Yeah. Great first brioche project. I'm excited to recommend it. <laughs> yeah, I'm so glad awesome. we have it. Yeah, me too. Guys, look at this. Do you want, do you want the other side? This is a giant. Yeah. <laughs> that was so much fun. Too cute. That was so, so, so very much fun. And um, guys, like Morehouse Yarns is going to be at Rhinebeck, and you can find them online. So I'll put all the information below. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Yeah. All right, so guys, we are at the site for In the Untangled, which is in Saugerties, New York. And I don't remember the place's name. So it's Thursday, and people are here setting up for In the Untangled, which is tomorrow on Friday. I believe that's the 19th. Look at this space, it's so cool. Yeah, so I guess her. This place has a really cool warehouse feel to it, and we just found Miss Glass who's laughing at me. <laughs> Your coat! I came just to see it. You look really pretty. Bad choice, but I had to. I need some socks. So we're just checking out all the little nooks around here. The floors are pretty. It's kind of like an abandoned warehouse. I love it. It's spooky. I don't know what happened here the other night, but it was spooky. Look. So I asked Lisa if I should bring food because um, I'm working all day and it isn't like you can walk. You could walk, but it would take you a while to go get food in town and I don't want to lose my parking space, of course. So she said there's going to be food at the venue so you guys will have stuff to eat. So we're in the Indie Untangled booth, which is the first booth to the right when you walk in and everyone here is starting to unload all of their stuff. But I can't find Corrado. Can you guys, can you find Corrado? I, Oh, he's outside. What is he doing? I don't know. I don't know. Let's watch and see. What are you doing? Um. Please note, he still has his fancy boots on. He will do anything I tell him to. That is a really good quality in a yarn husband. 
not going. Not going anywhere. Go mow something. Oh. Oh. Hi guys, welcome to my podcast. Um, we just crashed the Indian tank with my hair. What happened to my hair? Like, is it look okay in here? <laughs> it's okay, guys. <laughs> I love you, Danny. I want to dive in it. Yeah, I think you all feel the same way about Spin Cycle and Magpie. It's like the best combination ever, right? Look at this. Ikea bag's full of it. Stacked up like I like it. Softy soft colors. Stop it. I don't know. Just an idea. Okay. You don't have to. <gasps> Needles up. <laughs> Either we're in the wrong place or they are not setting up yet. Well, guys, this is where Needles Up is going to be. <laughs> Um, unless they have some other ballroom, I don't know, but there is nothing set up yet. <laughs> that was a bust. We, um, we can't find them. <laughs> we canceled it. <gasps> no! So, we we're just gonna go, <laughs> we're gonna go and eat now. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. Bye.